We're grateful that you've chosen to spend this time with us, but we're really looking forward to seeing you in person again. In 2022, the MST will turn 45, and for our gathering of friends, April 8th through the 10th, we're returning to the place where it all started, Lake Junaluska in Haywood County. In 1977, Lake Junaluska was the place where the trail was first proposed in a speech by Howard Lee, then the Secretary of the Department of Natural Resources and Community Development. The stage was set by a local physician named Dr. Doris Hammett, who had planned and prepared the trails symposium at Lake Junaluska. This is Dr. Doris Hammett and Howard Lee in 1977 at that symposium, and again in 2017, when the trail turned 40 and we celebrated in Elkin. Asheville-based board members, Marsha Bromberg and Les Love spent time with me there in 2019. And we are so excited to gather the MST community together to celebrate 45 years of achievement at this special place, to thank Kate Dixon for her years of service and to explore this beautiful part of the trail together. I'd like to introduce you to three people. First, Dr. Doris Hammett. With the help of, help of the staff at the retirement community where Dr. Hammett lives in Waynesville, just across the highway from Lake Junaluska, we were able to talk with her this week. Dr. Hammett, now in her upper 90s, talked with us about her role in the 1977 Trail Symposium, why she still loves walking, her life, and why it's so special that we are returning to Lake Junaluska 45 years later. In fact, Dr. Hammett was the first person I told that we were returning to Lake Junaluska from April 8th through the 10th in 2022, and she has kept the secret for over a year. We'll also hear from Ken Howell, the amazing executive director of Lake Junaluska Conference and Retreat Center, and Ben Wilder with Haywood County Tourism. Dr. Hammett? I am, I am Doris Hammett. I am a physician a pediatrician, and I was well aware of the importance of exercise for proper development. And the best exercise I knew was available to everybody at no expense at all is walking. So that if we were going to guess walking, we had to be doing some reason some place to go and some place to start. And that is what started the first plans for the mountains for the city trail. We were here in the mountains and they had been down on the trails and they came up to the mountains where we made the plan for the whole trail. What we did was connect a number of already existing trails in our planning so that you could walk from one trail to another. I was born in Kansas in 1924. And Kansas is flat. And you just go from, you don't have to have a trail. You just go from one place to place. It's all flat. There's no, well, we do have the old Kansas River but part of the trail followed the river, which is a natural geological route. We had a previous gathering of the friends, or some, some week before, in which we planned this planning committee and chose the people to be there. I, I will organize the place, I organize the time, I organize the planning of the procedures, and I'm sure I mailed out the procedures. That was the meeting that planned the first organized national trail system. Lake Uluska had the facility for people. And we chose a time when the church was not using the facility, and it was any relatively inexpensive and conveniently located in Lake Luster here. We celebrate 45 years of achievement, things that have happened since that first meeting. I did it. 
Hi, I'm Ken Howell, and I have the privilege of serving as the Executive Director of Lake Junaluska. These grounds here in Western North Carolina in Haywood County have been a place of inspiration and renewal for over 100 years. People come here, and they gather together, and they dream about the future of different things that are possible. 45 years ago, that's exactly what happened here. People came from all over the country, and when they were here, they talked about a dream for a trail that would go from the mountains of North Carolina all the way to the coast. The Mountains to Sea Trail 45 years ago was conceived right here on these grounds. We're so excited that next year, 45 years later, we're going to come back together again. We're going to celebrate the many accomplishments of this trail. And most importantly, we're going to celebrate the tens if not millions of lives that have been impacted by that trail and the experiences that have been able to be had on the trail. While you're here at Lake Junaluska, you can also explore our beautiful grounds, our gardens, our 200 acre lake, and all of the different activities that take place here. We are an ideal location for outdoor enthusiasts, and we're so glad that you're gonna come here and be able to experience that. We hope that too, while you're here, you may even extend your stay, explore all that Western North Carolina has to offer. And also, most importantly, get out and hike some of that beautiful trail that circumnavigates this area. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you next year, right here at Lake Junaluska. Good morning, everyone. My name's Ben Wilder, um, Assistant Director at the Haywood County Tourism Office. Just wanted to say good morning and welcome, and that we look forward to hosting you all next year here in Haywood County. Um, lake Junaluska is one of our beautiful lake properties. Here's an aerial view of Waynesville, um, another beautiful mountain town just minutes away. Also, Maggie Valley is nearby, as well as other towns. Um, we just have so many great places for you to visit and explore and see why you're here. Uh, we encourage you to come early, enjoy our outdoor areas, not just the parkway, but the Great Smoky Mountain National Park with Catalucci Valley and the Elk. Um, which were reintroduced in 2001. Um, we have plenty of waterfalls in our region. This is one up on the parkway at Graveyard Fields. Such a beautiful area. Um, lots of great hiking overlaps with the Mountains to Sea Trail. Um, Black Balsam on the Art, Lo Art Lobe Trail is another great area um, with just endless views. Um, a lot of challenging but scenic hiking in that area. Um, if you're with a family, we always say just come and, and find a, a bald or an area to go fly a kite, have a picnic, enjoy the great outdoors. It's just a wonderful thing to do. Um, I hear a lot of people are into camping with your group as well. So we have a lot of great campsites and locations. The, the stargazing in Haywood County is, is wonderful. We have lots of stars that you can see on every night. Um, Outdoor enthusiasts, we always want to remind people outside of hiking in the parkway, you can also fish. Um, we have heritage trout waters here in Haywood County, which means they're stocked. Um, Lake Junaluska is a wonderful property. We also have Lake Logan, but Lake Junaluska, you can kayak, um, canoe, stand up paddleboard. Just a, a great outdoor adventure location. Some people love golf, so we always want to mention that. We've got five great golf courses in Haywood County. This is a picture from the Maggie Valley Club. Um, we also have the Waynesville Inn, Laurel Ridge, Lake Junaluska, and Springdale at Cold Mountain. We have wonderful mountain towns um, with plenty of shopping. This is the Hazelwood Soap Company on Canton's Main Street. Um, also in the area, um, Orchard Coffee over in Waynesville, making locally crafted coffees, roasting their own coffee as well. Um, just some great options to get out and explore and to relax while you're here. Um, a lot of great Creekside locations. Frog Level Brewing has a great Creekside location in Waynesville. Um, a lot of live outdoor music in the summer as well, in the spring. Um, Bear Waters Brewing has two locations. They have this Riverside location in Canton. They also have a Creekside location in Maggie Valley. Um, both locations have great outdoor dining. Um, Elevated Mountain Distilling Company in Maggie Valley, making local spirits with moonshines, whiskeys, vodka, you name it, they make it. They would love for you to come by and visit them as well. 
Um, Dale's Wheels Through Time is one of our largest attractions in the area, over 300 working American-made motorcycles. If you're into motorcycles or just want to tour a fantastic museum, that's a great choice. Again, we just want to encourage everyone to come spend some extra time here. We just have such a great outdoor location. Um, that, that, that's just wonderful for everyone of all ages. Um, Blue Ridge Parkway, just a reminder, it's amazing. The Mountains to Sea Trail weaves in and out of it the whole way through Haywood County. So we know you'll be on it, but just wanted to show you one more picture of it. Again, thank you. We look forward to seeing you next year um, in person at Lake Junaleska. Thanks again. All right. Well, I hope that makes you all happy. Um, for those of you who have never been to an in-person gathering before, they are just a whole lot of fun. They usually last about three days. Um, on Friday, we get together and hike and, and explore during the day. We'll have some sort of social event that night. Saturday, we'll have a meeting kind of similar to this where we talk about what's happening on the trail. And then we'll break off and hike and do all sorts of things again in the afternoon and then um, on Sunday also. So um, just because there's so much happening and, and we can do many other things up there, we might plan some things earlier in the week. Um, so we really, we, there's so much we want to do <laughs> next year. So, so we'll, we're going to start planning that um, before too long. Um, registration will probably open. Um, usually it opens in the late fall. Um, so it's, it's um, a little bit different from this one. Um, but within a month or so, I'll have the lodging and camping information up on our website in case you want to make your, your plans early. There will be camping right on site at Lake Junaluska, and we'll have a different variety of, of lodging options available on site there. Um, but as both Ben and Kim said, there's so much to do up there. We invite you to come and stay as long as you'd like. And we're just thrilled to be in Haywood County, Waynesville, and Lake Junaluska, and look forward to introducing you to this really special area on the MST.